Hi, I am Maya. I moved to Portugal last fall and now I am living in the woods alone in a remote place facing a beautiful river. Join me as I tackle the wilderness and face the challenges of living off-grid. If you like what you see, please subscribe, leave me a comment or a like. I would be very thankful. Hi there, so today I'm showing you the second part of land that I bought. It has 7,000 square meters, while this one here has 4,400. It has a stream with drinking water, some cute little terraces, but it's very overgrown. And it has some eucalyptus forest. Are you ready for some wilderness? Let's go. Welcome to the land tour part two. Guess what else is coming? Ta -da! Some overgrown forest. It was the part that showed up in the secret swimming pool in the woods video. There's some footage from this land. Yeah, let's begin. Maybe you remember that I cleaned up this wall. Now there are already so many weeds growing back. This land borders the stream that provides my drinking water at the bottom property. And it's actually really beautiful. Normally it's a lot more water, but now it has been very hot. But it hasn't dried out yet. So a real cleaning team helped me to start to clean this. This part was not even accessible. Yep, guys, this is the real wilderness here. So all of this is still completely overgrown. Me and a helper strimmed this terrace here. And this leads to the secret swimming pool. But now it is very low. There is still a lot of water flowing. And it's nice and fresh here in the shade. So this part where the stream goes on, we are still going to clean and remove so that it will be just cleaned up. Also this wall belongs to the land because up there is the next terrace. And that's where we are going now. This is such a mess. I wish the wood would be all gone that is laying around here. And then there would be just a clean field of grass where you can lay and enjoy the view. But no, it's all full of brambles and sticks and stones. This is the second entrance to this land. So from the road, there's a nice path. We already cleaned it up. So when you come down the road, there's the first terrace with some burnt olive trees. Down there is the little stream, you can hear it. And here it is still to be cleaned. It is not easy to show this land because it is still not cleaned up. But I'd like to show it to you to make you understand my situation, how the reality actually is. I'm just one woman. I mean, there are many options. This land here for five years, it was never cleaned because it was just used to get some firewood. And I mean, I could do the same, but it just doesn't feel right because I think this is a beautiful land. So let me show you another secret pond. So 
So this is the border of the land. I imagine if you would clean up that pond, the water would flow just like at the other pool down there. So now there's no running water anymore. But this used to be a little stream here on this line. And I imagine if you clean it up again, maybe the water would flow. So this is a really cute terrace. And up there, it's not cleaned up yet, all mimosas. So this was the part below the road, and now we go up the road to the forest part. Welcome to my ruin! So this little ruin is part of the land and my brother and I just started to clean up the inside of the ruin. So these stones we took out this morning. It's really a lot of work. So many stones have been falling down and this big oak tree just grew inside. Also there was a big pine growing here. Yay! So, honestly, what do you think? The first step is to clean all the trees around the ruin and then to renovate it, to build some new walls. Maybe two of the walls are still good. This is a kind of acacia. They are called mimosa. And I don't know exactly which kind it is, but they are very fast growing and fast spreading. And they like to grow in areas where there's eucalyptus and where the wildfires burned the earth before. This house probably used to be an agricultural storage since you don't see a second floor and we found some little planting pots yay such an interesting video you just see trees more and more trees So this is the end of my land, this dirt road. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Down there are the terraces with the stream. Up here is the ruin. And here the road gets a little wider. So this could be used as a parking space. Now you have seen all my land. To be honest, I am a bit overwhelmed by so much land. I just need to think what is the best plan now for me and for the winter and for the land. So for now, let's enjoy the summer day, the summer breeze. Good morning. It was a slow morning. Now I'm putting a roof on my little mailbox and then I'm gonna install it down at the road. Today I'm giving the roof the second coating. Yay! So this is gonna be my countryside outdoor mailbox. I love to write letters and receive letters.
So, hi mailbox. Let's go where I'm going to install it. This is how it looks from the back. I don't know. I think it's kind of cute. I will put the roof on down there. So let's see if I will finally install this mailbox today. It's now the third try. Box. I'm so happy. Hi, what do you do on a 40 degree day? I will put on my hammock down on the river to be able to hang around. <laughs> going to be so nice. These two trees will be holding the hammock. Okay, second tree. Oh, there's a snake. Today I'm continuing to clean up the grill area. And I think I'm gonna paint this bench. Yesterday I already painted this wall over there. And I think it's cute. It's actually really cool in this room here. It's super nice. Okay, so let's go. Wonderful week.